What is up, guys? Hippie Thug Gaming here, DZ. Courtney is dead. And we are going to be bringing, <coughs> bringing you Wildlife Park 3 today. We're going to be checking it out, telling you if it's worth a buy. It's $99. Not worth a buy for $99. Definitely not. It is $9.99 on Steam, guys. So we're going to check it out and show you what it's all about today. <laughs> So, there's a campaign we can do. Okay. <clears throat> you unlock them as you beat them. Or there's obviously also a free play mode, which is probably a sandbox type. Exactly. So, we're going to do that, and we're going to go, well, we're, we'll just, we're we'll just going to play. We'll see how good this game is. We'll start with lots of money and make our park decent. There we go. Just make your park a four-star park and start with 110000 in the bank. Great on. That's how it's done, folks. Would you like to pick the lovely the Congo. location? With the Congo, eh? Bam, Congo. Okay, so it tells you kind of an, a rundown of what the area's like. Area. So extensive river bays and areas and tropical forests where temperatures remain constantly high. Alright, okay, hippos so and other water loving animals thrive here. All right. Lots of animals will thrive there, so we are so going to want that. Animals. So we'll start. Perfect. Alright, I love the old graphics, but just because it's an old graphics doesn't mean it's a terrible game. Fact. Look at the apes on there. Anything's worth giving a try. Alright, so here we go. So I've played this game briefly, so I kind of have a rundown of what it's like. Okay, so they give you an area to work with, to build your park with kind of thing? Yeah, so right now our park's closed. Okay, because we're Alright, so we've got the area to work with here. The park is closed and we are going to be building some enclosures, I guess? We are. We're sure we'll going to try to, anyways. Here we go. That's what we're going to do first. Pick the terrain here. Okay. Right now, I kind of want to get rid of all these crazy plants growing around here. Maybe we can't and that's okay. Is it that shovel up at the top there? I thought that too, but it's not. And then is it oh, like the it's ground? It's getting rid of the ground. Oh, okay. So there's probably different. Mm. You know what? This seems like way more work than than necessary. So we'll lead them. We'll improvise and work with them. Okay, we'll get back to you on that. We'll look it up and obviously figure out how to do that. Not a big deal. We'll work around it. So what do we want here? First, we'll start off with some visitor facilities. Why the heck not? Okay, so what's, what is in this category? So these are like bathrooms and whatnot. Okay. So we can put a bird aviary. That's okay, kind of like... Okay, we are definitely going to need to get rid of these trees. There's definitely got to be a way to get rid of these things. Overall, I like the concept so far, but this, it's a little hard to function. So what if we go back to, they definitely don't make it to, Oh, bam. Sell a tree. You just sell the trees? Selling trees, guys. I feel like there's got to be a way. Is there a way you can just select all the trees in an area and then? No, eh? There's not like a... Select all trees. Okay. Well then. We'll clear an area as we go. So Already we're not very impressed Wildlife Park 3. I'm very disappointed in the fact that I can't just select multiple trees and sell them all. That is a bummer, Wildlife Park. What are you doing? You'd think you would have learned from the other two. But no, you're still falling into the same trap, the same classic mistakes. History is doomed to repeat itself, Wildlife Park. Oh boy. So now that we've cleared out a little bit of space and we have a little bit more area to work with here and build, all right, so we'll start with what kind of animals should we get first? What are we looking at here? Well, now I've, we're looking at fences, not animals. I know, but I was just asking hypothetically, what's your favorite <laughs> animal, Dieter? A manatee. I don't know if we're going to be able to get those here, so a hippo will have to suffice. Well, that's how easy it is to make an enclosure, eh? You just grab the gates and... Oh yeah, super easy. Super easy, guys. Alrighty. There, so we got an enclosure That's there. That's pretty neat. So 
now we're gonna throw a gate on here. We'll throw it on the side so the staff can get in there. So the staff can get in and feed the animals. I just chuck it over the fence. Not going to feed no flipping lion. All right, so we, we have in our zoo. We unlock more as we go. Like what? The like the longer your zoo's open or whatever. Yeah, the more stars you get and whatnot as you're open. Oh, okay, and then I'm okay. Then you unlock more animals. Gotcha. Yeah. So what would we like? So to start what is with? up with all the animals? Or why are there a bunch of different ones? Like what is up? Why are there like 19? This emu or this gnu okay, is so 14 years old. Oh, okay. So he's on his way out. Okay, very so you energetic. Can, whereas this one's 13 and not okay, very Okay, so energetic. it gives them stats on each individual animal. Yeah. So the older, sick ones, they probably sell you for dirt cheap. They're probably like, you can have this one. For Fact. Next I to say nothing. we start with zebras. What do we gonna, got here? Let's look for a good one here. You look good. Let's get you. Male, 12 years, energy, disease, no, he doesn't have any diseases, right on, oh boy. Now, there's a picture of a meat above him, now, I thought we were playing Wildlife Park 3, not Slaughterhouse. No, he, that's a salt, salt rock. For what, really? Oh, because he likes salt rocks? There, they lick salt rocks, A lot rocks, of animals really? need salt rocks. Huh, interesting. I okay, thought so we were playing gonna, Slaughterhouse. We're going to drop those in there and go back into here. Put a little salt rock in there, make them happy. A little water trough, there you go. What do you things to eat? I feel like grasses and stuff. I also feel like you're from the savannah. So we'll give you some savannah grass. We're just gonna spray paint your pen orange here. This is one neat thing you can do. You can go to this. And they talk to you, eh? Like you can see what, you can be like Dr. Doolittle and just Yep, they let you know what's going on here. Interesting. They need grasses, minerals, and they like to jump. Well, they're pretty easy to please, guys. And they like to jump. So we need to find grasses here. Okay. There's some grass right there. A feeding crib. Oh, okay. And jumping over things, eh? There you go. Have one of those. Okay, so now we need somebody to actually go in and feed them. So now we hire a dude. You're two stars, you're four stars. Let's get four stars. Is that stars the amount of effort they put forward into taking care of the animals? Like two I believe you are absolutely correct. I'm going to put them right oh, there. Oh, and he they cover an area. area. So, if you, so he'll cover the atrium as well, like the birds? Is that an atrium? I can't remember. Yeah, an aviary. Aviary, sorry. So does that mean he'll cover that as well? Like he'll take... Yeah, and any exhibits in his square. Very he's nice. got them covered. Right, so right now he's taking care of our zebras. They've got this because they're lonely. They're so lonely. They like being with lots of zebras. So we're well, we going to buy them some more zebras. they got a three-way going on there. There's three of them. It's not like they're... They like big herds. It's the way it is. Now this guy's just talking about grass. The other three are in love. <laughs> I thought the one was thinking about the zookeeper, but that is in fact a picture <laughs> of the zookeeper. There, we've gotten a sort of zebras now there, oh, guys. Dinah. Are you guys happy yet? Probably not, because now there's way too many zebras. There's not too many. Look, they're happy. Look at them, they're just racing over the water dish. Oh, we're fast forwarding. I was like, holy wow, yeah, man, so those zebras move fast. So it's right, kind of so like The Sims, if you're familiar with that as well. You can speed up time, pause it. Yay! All right. Increase Charge price. Two oh. dollars to come see the zebras because that's all we have right now. That's okay. Can you imagine if zoos were like that? Like you pay to get in and then you have to pay to go to each exhibit. Like you want to see the monkeys? Five bucks. <laughs> like what? I just paid twenty at the gate. Well, pff. that was to walk in the gate, fella. That's how it is. Twenty Don't bucks to see a monkey. See. Twenty bucks. You said it was five. Well, guess what? It's went up to thirty. You want to keep dicking around or you want to see a monkey? That's what our resort's going to be like, Oops. except with zebras. You ever, Zebra. seen, you ever seen seven zebras in a pen before? No, I haven't. Well, guess what, bud? It's $2 to see that. That's other, what it is. Other places are probably charging 10 15 So we got to put stuff to make people happy, apparently. 
will put a vending machine A here. vending machine that plugs into nothing around it. I love it. Absolutely. It could be solar powered though. Think ahead. There we go. Solar powered. Solar powered vending machines. Throw one of those down. Garbage cans. People aren't so darn messy. Don't want them littering in our park. And a bathroom. Oh, we can change the color. Let's make it pink. Which one is the door? I think it's that side. We'll put it to that side. There we go, guys. What else we got for for animals here? Let's build another fence and make another animal pen. Alright. We'll put one right here. Oh, it's starting to rain. Ah! No one's going to come to the park if it's raining. I'm thinking nobody's in the park, come to the park anyway because it's closed. It's open now. I opened it. You opened it, eh? Yeah. Our park specializes in birds and zebras. Birds and zebras, my friends. You gotta, <coughs> you gotta start from somewhere. Stick to an expertise. Let's buy some of these little gaffers because they're tiny. I was gonna power Listen lap and click on zebra again. Throw another. You have two <laughs> zebra enclosures. You can't ever get enough zebras. Zebras for everyone. You get a zebra. You get a zebra. Look at now they're all running around. I think we trapped our zookeeper in there too. Oh no, I guess he can walk out the gate. I was about to say it. He, he absolutely in can. If he's not going over, he's being lazy. But it's because I haven't put food dishes down yet. Get a handful of these little gaffers. It's Timon. There. Put a gate on the door so the door the guy can actually get to him. There you go. Do you want to put it on the front there so they can? Or right there. Either way. Either way is fine. It'll, it'll work. All right. We they they eat termites apparently. There we go. Feed bowl, Feed bowl insects. of insects. That's probably what it is right there. We will take it. There we go, guys. My little friends. Nail Meerkat. I'm doing really well. Well, good. Glad to hear it. Oh, Buddy goes back and forth and does That's pretty neat. Like you said, I know he covers an area, but that's cool that he actually... There. They're happy now. They got some stuff going on. There. Perfect. So look at that. And that, my friends, is how you have a zebra and a meerkat enclosure. Yay! So a little park to start us off, but Let's not make too admission bad. free because no one's coming. Oh, people are coming now. And they're instantly sad when they go to the garbage? I don't understand. I'd be sad if I went to a park to go see the garbage, too. Hugely disappointing. Marvelous female zebra four is pregnant. We're gonna have even more zebras. We're gonna have a zebra farm. <laughs> we should just get out of the zoo business and just start a zebra farming business. There you go. We got it all figured out, guys, here at Hippie Thug. Exactly. And they should just change this from Wildlife Park 3 to just animal farming. Zebra herd. Zebra herd. <laughs> zebra herd 3. There, so we got some stuff going on now, so people are maybe a little bit happier. So they're all bummed out, and I don't know why. They're bumming me out, to be honest. What do you... Oh, you're not unhappy anymore. What's your deal? I'm doing really well. Well, okay, everyone's happy now. Oh, well, perfect. That's good. Yay! Now, let's build another one. What, what can we build next? All right, so we'll probably have to sell some of these trees to make some room. Absolutely. This will be something that likes trees. There we go. Have a little gate so they can get inside. You got it. Got to have that. All right, what Crucial. are we... Crucial. 
We can get some gazelle now. What do you think? Oh, or the buffalo up at the top. I've been looking at that the whole time going bison side. They're really big. I should build a bigger pen for them. Okay, we'll put something small in there then. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. We have oh, a Diana. bison pen. Can you, like, open it up to the water and they're, like, allowed to drink out of it and then possibly yeah. go for a swim? That's neat. I know you answered me before I finished go for a swim, but... They can, though. They will. Especially when you get polar bears and stuff, which we're not going to here because we're in the Congo. We can put air conditioners in, though. And just have polar bears? Yeah. Heck yeah. All right, so what are we throwing in there? We're getting some bison. There we go, guys. There we go. Get some of these big furry gaffers. Okay, Dinah, are they ever big? There we go. Apparently the meerkats don't have enough friends. I'll throw a few more in there. Cheer up, you little buggers. There we go. Alright, so I guess the lesson that most of you should take from this is the fact that your animals, I guess, are going to want a lot of the other same animals to play, with, play around with. Oh, it's too warm for him here. He doesn't like it here. <laughs> Poor guy. We're going to have to sell bison, eh? Put an air conditioner in for them. That's pretty neat, actually, that you can just like do that in an area so it makes them more comfortable. Absolutely, you can. Right, let's check out what they like. They'd like some mud to play in and some more more uh, buffalo people around. And they eat uh, grass and leaves. More well, bonus. Got a lot High of maintenance crew around. here. Give them that, and that, and I suppose they drink water. That would make sense. That would make sense. Yeah, they're not drinking whiskey or anything else, eh? Whiskey fountain in the buffalo pen. Okay, now they need some mud, so we'll go to this. Where's the mud? Is this mud? That's mud. There we go. Perfect. How do you like that? You guys do not need any more of you. Look at you. I know, a bunch of you. You get one more and that's it. <laughs> okay, two more. And that's you can, it. You can also wait for them to have babies as well if you don't want to buy a bunch of them. But obviously we're just giving you a quick demonstration on how to throw enclosures together. We got an empty pen here too, so we'll throw some gazelles in. Alright. Our zoo's coming together, Dieter. It's coming together. There. Again, we can go and check, see what they like. All of them. I would like my, my, more of my species around me. How about I ship you all off to the glue factory? And get me some manatees and hippos in here. There's other ones that don't like to be crowded, though. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, they're all going like, I need water, I need water. You can only do one thing at once, little gazelles. There, water for you, my friends. And the ground is too soft for them. Okay, Dinah. And they need a gate so we can get in there. Alright, we'll hire a new buddy here. Two stars. Three stars, there you go, that's fine. You don't need to always go above and beyond. Boom, drop him in there so he can look after these enclosures. 
There we go. Go back to our visitor stuff here. Build a nice little sidewalk to our new exhibits. Perfect. Trees in the way. What can you do? Oh, let's you dig them up right there. No, that's them telling us they don't like the ground they're on. Oh, okay. Why, well, it's just fine and dandy. Because we're selling you. Hasta la vista, trees. Perfect. And there we go. Yay! Perfect. So this has been Wildlife Park for you guys. Um, We've got a nice little zoo here. Again, I guess if we're giving it a quick review, I would say it's worth a buy. I definitely have some... Just eat. Some gripes with it. Some gripes sure. with it already, but for nine ninety nine, you can't really go wrong. You could definitely buy a lot worse for nine ninety nine. Fact. From experience, guys, I'll show you here. There's lots of different things you can buy. You can build like restaurants and clothing yeah. stores. So eventually, you're making lots of money. So it's like it's it's like a roller coaster tycoon and stuff like that. So exactly. it's running an amusement park, but it, animals is only one aspect of that. Park. Yeah, and the animals, there's usually, like, as you go further on in You'll the game, unlock. there's going to be more cooler ones. There's, like, polar bears. There might be manatees, Who but knows? there's certainly seals, cool stuff like that. To be honest, I have had the opportunity to play around with it a little bit longer than you. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, for nine ninety nine, I dig the game. It was fun to putter around on. Mind you, it gets boring, but it's one of those games you can drop pick up again and it's fun to play again it's just yeah. a fun one to have in the library fun one to have in the library well this has been hippie thug gaming oh no our gazelles are out they're running free yeah, i don't that, know what to tell you guys keepers awful so again <laughs> the zoo the zoo is off the hinges now i guess so so wildlife park 3 i guess is worth a buy for the 9.99 but don't leave gaps in your fences <laughs> This has been Hippie Thug Gaming. Peace. Love. love. Hippie Thug.